today we've got Michelle Schoen, and she has been a virtual assistant and trainer online since 2009. She specializes in creating top-notch software demos, tutorials, and marketing videos with her three favorite tools, Camtasia Studio, PowerPoint, which we're going to hear about today, and GoToWebinar, which we are actually on. So Michelle believes it's as important as a virtual assistant to find a specialization that will make your VA business stand apart from the rest. And she believes video to be a huge area of growth for virtual assistants. And I so agree, especially with YouTube and everything else happening nowadays. Uh, you know, we just watch videos. It's easier, right, than reading an mm -hmm. ebook or something like that. <laughs> I mean, I love to read, but you know, it's yeah. just uh, videos are the future. You know, that's where Definitely. it's going. So, so yeah, and, and today, Michelle, she's going to talk about quick and easy videos that you can make with PowerPoint. I'm really excited about this webinar. She's going to um, talk to you about how you can produce amazing videos for yourself or your clients using just PowerPoint. Uh, so this is going to be a service you could offer your clients, which is really cool, or just use it for your own business marketing purposes, right? Right. Uh, so, yeah, and she's going to talk about the best hacks to make PowerPoint slides look professional without knowing anything about graphic design. I'm looking forward to that part myself. Yeah. Uh, how to make tips videos for YouTube to promote your VA business with zero video editing skills, really important. I've been talking to my VA insiders uh, about marketing on YouTube and how crucial that is and important to your marketing campaigns and why creating a niche for yourself in video means less competition and more fun in your virtual assistant career. So I am excited, Michelle, to uh, <laughs> you. let you take the microphone here and go with this. And thanks for sharing with us today. Oh, you are welcome. And, and I think you guys are going to really enjoy this. I've done this webinar a few times before and everybody's at the end they go wow I had no idea you could do that with PowerPoint so all right well here we go let me go ahead and uh, get started here all right so I'm going to be sharing with you guys today how you can make money uh, get a great return on on your time and anything you might have to to invest in like buying PowerPoint if you don't have it. But I'm going to be sharing with you how I make money. I mean, that's what it all kind of boils down to. Uh, can you can you make a, as much money as you want to make? You know, whether you just want extra money because maybe you're a stay-at-home mom uh, or maybe you want to make this into a full-time career. Uh, and I will show you how I do it. We're, I'm going to show you how to build a, a demo. It's going to be a tutorial. So the most most of the time when we're um, when I'm doing this webinar, I'm going to be actually developing something in PowerPoint. It's not just going to be a bunch of slides and you can do this, you can do that. I'm going to do it in front of you so you can see that you can do it and very quickly. All right, we're going to make the video, and then at the end, uh, obviously, I'm going to have an offer for you for additional training if you've enjoyed, if you've enjoyed it, and I have proven to you that this is something that you can do, and you want to learn some more about it and how I uh, make a full-time income doing it. Uh, you'll want to stick to the end, stay till the end, and see what I've got for you. Um, and then also we're going to have some time for Q&A too. So cool. All right. So just real quick, uh, Tanya has already introduced me. I'm Michelle Shane. I started my virtual assistant business back in 2008. So yeah, this would be 10 years of full time uh, as a virtual assistant. Um, in 2010, about, about two years after I started the VA business, I partnered up with a man that I had met online. <laughs> online, this sounds, sounds like, you know, internet dating. Uh, <laughs> but no, I, I business partnered up with him, actually, uh, because we both enjoyed using this tool called Camtasia. And I was sort of helping him with stuff, and he was helping me learn. And we just decided to form this company called Learn Camtasia back in two, 2010. And if you haven't heard of Camtasia, I, I'm curious. Uh, how many of you guys have used Camtasia? It's it's um, it creates a video, um, which it's called screencast video. And so I became known as kind of the Camtasia girl. So people do, yeah. People are saying yes, they've used Camtasia before. Uh, but in about oh, I want to say 
six years ago, we started adding PowerPoint videos, and now I'm just so excited about being able to do, let's just say about 85% of the video that I want to do starts in PowerPoint. Sometimes I bring it into Camtasia later, sometimes I don't. Now, how I make money at doing this, this is a little bar chart I created here. Uh, if you look at the legend here down here, you're going to see that this is about um, maybe 40% of my income is doing custom videos for people, for clients. And I'll show you uh, shortly, you know, some of the people that I work with. Uh, about 40% is me using PowerPoint to create training courses that about things that I know about and then selling them. And then about, I'm going to say, I think this is maybe about 15% here, is passive income. And that means selling things where I haven't really had to do much, which is say affiliate stuff so it might be recommending one of Tanya's courses or uh, recommending people buy Camtasia Studio for example and then I or any of the things that I use for a video and then I get a commission off that so uh, just to share with you real quick what you some of the things you can do in Camtasia, um, excuse me, PowerPoint, I'll probably do that a whole bunch more times, but <laughs> I have a site called Screencast Video Services, and on there is a link to my portfolio. So uh, if you ever wanted to see what you can do in PowerPoint with a little help with Camtasia, sometimes and sometimes not, I have all these different portfolio portfolio pieces on there of clients that I've worked through over the years. Uh, I do um, software tutorials, demos, training courses, just all kinds of different stuff. And on the services part here, if you click on that, you can do this like later if you feel like it, you, you can see exactly what I charge for things. Um, so here I charge per minute per minute of video, um, $100 to $150 per minute. And I do uh, full multi-listen video training courses anywhere from 1,200 to um, up to about 10,000. As a matter of fact, I wanted to share with this with you so you'll know, you know, I'm legit and I really do all this stuff and make good money at it. Uh, I just, a couple of weeks ago, I had a client See, this was January 4th. Uh, they found my site and they asked me, they want me to create 50 videos in the next six weeks. And I got that job. I, I quoted it. I uh, it was for Genuine Parts Company, um, Napa. You know, they've got all the car related stuff and they wanted some tutorials. And so I got that job. So you know, at $400 a video, plus I'm doing training for them uh, and a lot of other stuff. So that that's going on right now. That turned out to be a really good job. So now enough about me, <laughs> enough about me, but I just always want to let people know, you know, uh, people do webinars all the time and they and they promote stuff and talk about stuff, but they're not really doing it for a living. That's not what they're really doing. All they're doing is selling training courses about it. <laughs> you know, they're not actually making money at it day to day. And so when I find that out later, I feel like it's a little bit, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Fake. Okay. <laughs> because they're not really making money at the thing that they're trying to promote. So anyways, that is what I do. So let me continue from the current slide. All right, so these are the th things you can offer your clients when you know how to make PowerPoint videos. You, uh, tips videos, which is what we're gonna create in a second uh, to get traffic back to their websites. You put these on YouTube, uh, they talk for like two or three minutes, and then it brings eyes back to their website to sign up for stuff. Uh, training videos, software demos, these are marketing videos for for software. Tutorials, which is like the 50 videos I'm about to do. Webinar presentations, if you know PowerPoint, 
you can help your client create uh, beautiful looking webinars. That's another part of my business that I offer is uh, being a webinar assistant. And uh, authority building videos for your own business. That's what I, I'll show you those two. I have those of my own and much, much more. Okay, don't worry about being too complex. This is not what we are doing. We are not, I'm not going to have you buy a backdrop and lighting and an expensive video camera, nor do your clients need to have any of that stuff because video is done with PowerPoint. Unless you want to add full motion video of yourself or client talking, most of my PowerPoint videos are just simply images, text, and animation, and they look great. So probably most of you guys know these. You've probably seen them before. Um, now, I was curious, who has used PowerPoint before for either videos, presentations, or other? And if you've never used PowerPoint before, just say no in the question panel. You should see a question panel. Uh, so I'm saying yes, so so good. What's great about this, thank you, Michelle Carey Elizabeth, presentations. Oh, we have Tanya Harding here tonight. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. let's see, uh, just one or two, no. I didn't know how to use PowerPoint at all zero um, about five years ago and I just told Lon Naylor who is my my partner over at Learn Camtasia I said this year I've decided I'm going to learn PowerPoint and I have just loved it I've just because I love artsy fartsy stuff and I get to be super creative and create really beautiful things with it so it's kind of like being an, a creative artist but it's easier to to um, to to when you make a mistake, you can fix it. Is what I'm trying to say. All right. Did you know that you can use PowerPoint to make a video? Not a lot of people knew that. It is built right into your PowerPoint. You see, create a video. You hit create video, and it creates a video for you. All right, so we are going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to create a uh, three tips video for YouTube. And for those of you guys who are curious as to what version of PowerPoint I'm using, I am using PowerPoint 2016. And um, what you do here to see which one I'm using, so you go to uh, Office 365. I don't know if you oops, not 265, 365. I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but now Microsoft is doing a monthly version of, of Office. So what I do is, let me make sure, oh, that's the login. What I want is products, plans and pricing. Okay, so I pay, I think I pay $8 a month. Let me see. Okay, no, I pay okay six ninety nine a month, and what I get is all the office tools, but I get them upgraded monthly. So every time they come up with something new, I get it right away. I don't have to wait for PowerPoint two thousand and eighteen to come out, for example. So it's like I'm using the always the the most the most latest, if that's a word, always the most latest version. <laughs> so if you see some things on my screen that you're going, whoa, that's cool, I don't have that. Uh, it, it could be a feature that, uh, that they have come up with in the last six months or so. I'm not, gonna, I'm not using anything that they came up with in the last four or five months. But there may be some things that you don't have because they came up with it, say, six months ago. So uh, most of the stuff you can do, what I'm sharing with you, you can pretty much do anything you want, even in, in PowerPoint 2013, except for this one thing I'm going to be showing you, which is called the designer. That's only in PowerPoint 2016. All right, excellent. So if you're ready, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you, I already created this video, but then I'm going to go backwards and show you how I did it. 
This is a video called Three Tips to Sell Your Home Fast. And I, I made it up uh, because my husband and I are into house flipping now. <laughs> we just started doing that and it's pretty fun. And I wanted to do a kind of a cool video on that. So let me go ahead and get started. Uh, here we go. Okay, you won't really hear it, but I'm talking. I'm saying a script right now. I'm saying something about um, we're in a seller's market. There's lots of competition. And then I move to this. Uh, hi, I'm Michelle Shane, and I'm going to, uh, and I'm from Michelle's Home Staging, blah, blah, blah. Here in this video, there's three tips to sell your home fast. So um, you, since you can't hear the audio, I'm just reading it. Just go to webinar doesn't allow you know, it doesn't make it easy for you guys to hear <laughs> hear it. So I'm going through the, the different tips and then I talk about tip, and then are the tips one at a time and I'm gonna fast forward through this. It's only 30 seconds. And then I talk about this tip. This would be something that I would put on YouTube, okay? So I actually created this video in about 20 minutes and if if this were on YouTube, they would see this. This is a bogus URL. I don't really own that. <laughs> I just made it up. And they would see it and they would click on it or go there. And then hopefully, you know, I could capture, say, like I had a training course or something on home flipping. And I wanted to get people on my mailing list so they would come over my site, hopefully sign up for the newsletter, blah, 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 and hopefully be a customer of mine, right? So here is exactly how I made that in PowerPoint. Before I start, does anybody want, does anybody have any questions on anything I've shared so far? Uh, oh, uh, Tanya says, Oh, Tanya, you pay $109 a year. I think I went ahead and I paid the $69 for the year. Uh, you you probably have a better version than me or something. But, yeah, it says, um, so Karen's question, what is, is that different from creating animations with the slides? Um, that's exactly what I do, is I'm creating animations and uh, using transitions in the slides. So, okay. Here's what I did. I started out with an empty, I'm gonna recreate each slide for you. It started out obviously empty. I just hit file new and I just picked a blank presentation no, with nothing on it at all. No template, no nothing like that, okay? Nothing. So for the first slide, all I did was, you know, create a slide, new slide. OK, now I do have a black background on here, which is pretty easy to do. You just go to design format background and you just choose solid fill and you choose black. Now, you you will have the replay of this. So if I'm going too quickly for you, just don't worry. You know, I'll make this available to you guys for about a week and you can review it as many times as you want. All right, so then the next thing I do is I go, I want to find a picture, okay? Um, you know, I, I forgot the, <laughs> there was one thing I did before that. I wrote a script, so silly me. Um, I wrote a script. It wasn't silly that I wrote it. It was silly that I forgot to tell you. I decided what I was going to say before I started doing the slides. So here I decided it was going to be six slides and that this is what I wanted to say. This was going to be my message. Okay. So my first line was going to be, if you've been following home sales, probably, you know, we're in a seller's market, but you'll still have lots of competition to reach your ideal buyer. So then I went over to PowerPoint, you know, and I opened up a blank presentation and I decided what I wanted to show was, you know, a whole bunch of houses in the background to illustrate my point there. So all I did is I went to insert and PowerPoint comes with this link here to uh, a place where you can get images that are royalty free and free, which means you can use them uh, to your heart's content no paying, no nothing. So I clicked on open, see, free stock photos. And then I just said um, houses. 
and then I hit enter. And I guess I scrolled through here and I found this one, but in this case, I'll just pick this one for now. Okay, so now I got this picture, right? Um, so, oops, hold on a second. I put it on the wrong slide. Insert picture. All right, so here's what happens. All right, when I insert a picture into, into my PowerPoint 2016, it looks at the picture and it decides, ooh, that's boring like that. I'm gonna give you some ideas for making this much more cool along the right-hand side. And so I can scroll through and decide which one I like. And I guess for this one, I chose that. And then I said, in, I said lots of competition. So I just clicked in it here, lots of competition. All right. Boom, one slide down. Okay, five more to go. Um, what I can do also is put a transition on here in case I want to have like a little animation between these slides. So I'll go to transitions. I'm going to pick this one because I know I like it. Oops, I'm going to drag it. Okay, and then I'll put it onto this one too. All right, so now you'll see. Um, when you look at it now, if I go to slideshow from beginning, you know, you'll see the way it comes in. See how it moves to that other slide so nicely. Okay, so that's, it kind of looks like an animation, but it's, hold on, <laughs> I'm having a little trouble getting out of PowerPoint. Come on, escape, escape, escape. Okay, there's only one way to get through this. All right, there we go. And now the way that I did this one, and Rosita asked, how did you get to design ideas? Yeah, um, it just comes up for you. If it doesn't come up automatically, you go to design, design ideas, and then it generates the different ideas. See, now it's kind of giving me different ideas than it gave me the first time. But it's really cool because I don't have any design background at all. Nothing, zero graphic design. I'm not good at it. Um, I try and try and I can never get things as nice as say a professional graphic artist does, but I don't have to worry about that now uh, because I my slides look uh, really nice all the time now that I do them in, in PowerPoint and I use this design ideas. And how I got the arrows? Oh yes, I forgot to tell you. All I do, all I did was insert, I went to shapes, I found a curved arrow, okay, uh, maybe this one. I drew it on the screen, see, like that. I changed the fill of it to white. I changed the outline to white because I didn't want to outline and there's my arrow. And then if I want this font here, this, this, these little words here, all I gotta do is go insert. I like word art. Um, I think it's kind of cool. Uh, so I think I said to here, said on these four sale, right? And then I will change the font to um, a fun font that I like is ba ba boom, be boo bomb, ba ba boom, whatever. That's kind of a cool one, and I'll make that a little smaller. Well, I'm sorry, hold on. Here we go. That's the way you make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and then drag it here. And then uh, you see I did this uh, like three times with different kinds of arrows. Found them all in the shapes. Okay, let's see. Uh, Carla says, where is the link to your voice? Is it behind the pictures? Uh, well, with this, I haven't added the voice yet. Uh, to it, but you will see the voice in a second. You're looking for the little speaker, right? The little speaker that, that tells you that there's a voice on the slides. Yeah, you'll see it there as soon as I add it. I'm going to let you watch me record the slides and make it into a, an actual slide show. So I'm going to show you how I did a few more of these, just so you'll see all the different kind of variations there. Okay, so then the next slide I did was this one.
I'm just going to click new slide. All right, so this time I think instead of instead of finding a house over in Pexels, I'll just go to insert online pictures because it takes you again to uh, copyright free. Uh, what do they call it? Um, I can't remember the name of it all of a sudden, but it's the it's where you can use you can use any of the pictures you want. And so I have a lot of other places that I love to get pictures, but I really never like to pay for them. So I go to these places where you can uh, get them for free and you don't even have to give any attribution if you don't want to, although it's always nice to do that. So uh, I get all these, oh, Creative Commons. That's the word I was looking for, Creative Commons. That means that you can use them without paying for it in commercial things. So this time I'm going to just choose this house. It's probably not the same house I picked before, but okay, so here come the design ideas. All right, so on this slide, you see I picked something like that. I don't know that I'll necessarily pick that again this time, but I'm going to go through here and see if they offer it. Oh, they don't offer that particular one this time, but maybe when I add my picture of myself, I'll get a cool idea that I want. So I'm going to insert. Um, this time I'm going to go and find, hold on, a that particular picture of me is this one. All right, so now I've got two pictures. All right, sees I've got two pictures and it gives me some cool ideas. And I think the one I'm going to pick is, I don't know, what the hey, let's go with this one for a change. Now, <laughs> all right, we'll go this way. All right, it doesn't matter which one I pick. But anyway, so I just typed in three tips to sell your home fast. Okay, and then... I think I just had my name or something. Oh, yeah, Michelle's Home Staging. So I can just say Michelle's Home Staging. But I would make that bigger, a lot bigger. All right. So there we go. I'm not picking exactly the same stuff as I did last time, but, you know, you get the idea. Um, I'm going to just do a couple more probably won't do this last one, but just so you see how I got some of these things. Like, for example, this is different. This this here is called Smart Art. So create another slide. I'm going to insert, I guess I'll just use Pexels again, and get something for curb appeal. This was something about, you know, trees and flowers and all that. Curb appeal see what we got here. Oops, did I type in curb appeal correctly? <laughs> curb appeal. Maybe I only typed in curb. Huh, interesting. Let's just go with online pictures this time. Could have sworn I got it from Pexels, but curb appeal or or I'll do front lawn or something. Well, this is nice. I'll come I'll find something from this. All right. So, let's just go through here and pick something that's kind of pretty. Oh. That was kind of nice. I skipped right by that one. All right. Here we go. This isn't bad. All right. So, now we got some curb appeal there. And let's see what it came up with. Um, we can't have something too big, and I know I want to add my smart art into it in just a second. Oops, my mouse was going crazy. Okay, I'm going to go with this, and then I'm going to add a little smart art. Smart, this is smart art right here. I don't know if how many of you guys have used it before, but it's right here. Insert a smart art graphic, and I know I want three things because I'm going to be talking about like bushes flowers and something else. So this one has three items. I'm going to put that in there. And I think I'll just say, uh, let's see, let me go back to the script again. Uh, what do I say here? Um, you can enhance your home's curb appeal by planting flowers, trees, or flowering bushes. Okay, so we're going to say flowers. Oops, 
capital flowers, trees, or bushes. Okay, uh, that's really nice and all, um, but I don't like that blue color. I would much rather it match the picture. So I'm going to just select these three and then right click and change the fill color. I'm going to use my eyedropper and go with the color of, I'm going to do something different than I did before uh, with the pink there. Now that's pretty, and of course I can just change this um, tip number one curb appeal. Wow, we're almost done. Um, you'll have see, you'll see how I did how quickly I did this. Now this one is very close to the other one, so I'm not going to show you. I just picked two pictures, and so is this one. You know, there's nothing really new here. On this last one, here's what I did for this one because I want to make sure that they see a place for for them to, to click at the end and go to Michelle's home staging so I went new slide this time I right clicked and made it blank okay then I inserted word art and I think I used this one because that's always been my favorite and I said hope you enjoyed <clears throat> these three tips and let's make that a little bit bigger. I selected it just like you would do anything in Word. Back to home and made it bigger. And one more of those. Insert Word Art again. And for more tips like these, www michelleshomestaging.com. All right. Oh, it just turned yellow. That's really nice. I don't even know why I did that this time. <laughs> I can't, I can't even, maybe because it's a link and I had um, everything that was a link would turn a color. So yeah, so, so it was easy. Um, I think the hardest part actually was coming up with the script, you know, just coming up with what I wanted to say in this tips video. All right, so now let me, oh, um, there, there was a couple questions that came in while I was doing this. I'm just going to answer, yeah, royalty free. Thank you, D'Amber. Uh, Creative Commons, Joseph, thank you. You reminded me what they were called. And Rosita wanted to know, how did I get to the smart art? Yeah, well, all you do is go like this. If if you click and make a new slide, say anywhere, okay, you can do it from here. See, insert a smart art graphic. But if you're working with just a plain layout, like blank, like this, you just go insert. Um, where is it? Smart art. Okay. And so if I'm showing some kind of, I mean, I love these. If I'm showing there's just so many in here. If if I've decided that I want to show uh, some kind of a process, you know, where I'm going step one, step two, step three, and I might pick something like that and just put it in here. And then if I click on this arrow here, I might just say what the first step is. Uh, let's see, find a messy home. You know, this would be for flipping. And then, um, you know, offer a low price. See? And then anytime you want to change it, the colors to match whatever it is, your, your branding, whatever, I, I collect them all like that. I just clicked on each one of them holding down the control key. And then I go to format shape fill and so I can either choose a different color here or I can use the eyedropper to pick out any other color that I've used in any of the of the other PowerPoint slides or recent colors if I wanted to see and I can make it way bigger too if I want to wait let me close this I can make it bigger yeah so I love that I love the smart art uh, let's see, a question from Lisa, is Pexel compatible with PowerPoint 2010? You know what, Lisa, it's not about compatibility. Uh, you can just go to Pexel. I mean, Pexel happens to be inside 
PowerPoint 2016, but you can also go Pexel and just go there. See? Um, another place I love to get uh, images for free is on Splash. That's my other favorite place. I use these. And they're, when it's Creative Commons Zero, you can use them for anything. You could, theoretically, you could um, grab a bunch of them and sell them. I mean, it's, it's literally that open <laughs> for you to do stuff with them. All right. Let's see. Karen says, looks like you could almost create an infographic. Yes, uh, you could easily create an infographic with that. I've, I've done worksheets in here. I've done reports in PowerPoint. You can do all kinds of stuff. So now I'm going to show you how I turn this into a video. OK, so so what I'm going to do, just so we won't have too many doubles of slides that I've already done. Right. I, I'm going to. Well, let's see. I'll keep. Uh, I, I'm going to remove the ones I've already I've already that, that are duplicates. You know what I mean? OK, like I can take this one off because it's a duplicate of just me showing it to you. OK, um, I don't need to do this one. Delete that. And then we don't need two of those. All right. So here's what I do. Down in the notes here. I, I go to my script and I paste in like I copy paste, you know, copy copy and then I go back to PowerPoint and I just paste it's this oops the other PowerPoint I just paste it down in the notes section for every single slide see I also have a couple of um, notes to myself down here about how to remember how I did certain things the last time I did it but it's really these are is what I'm going to use to record it just just these up at the top. So here's what you do. You go to slideshow. You go to record slideshow and record from beginning. So then what I do is I click on the notes so that I can see what I'm supposed to be saying. And first I would go here and I would choose the microphone that I want to use. I happen to be wearing a headset right now and it's this Logitech headset. So that's the one I'm going to use. Now all I have to do is hit the record button and I'm going to go through the slides and do the recording. So here we go. <laughs> I feel like I always have to cough right before I start. Okay, start the recording. Three, two, one. If you've been following home sales, you probably know we're in a seller's market, but you'll still have lots of competition to reach your ideal buyer. Hi, I'm Michelle Shane, the owner of michelleshomestaging.com, and in this video, you'll learn my top three tips to sell your home as quickly as possible. Tip number one, you can greatly enhance your home's curb appeal by planting flowers, trees, and adding some flowering bushes. Tip number two, update the interior with a fresh coat of popular neutral color paint so buyers will get the impression that your home has been well cared for. Tip number three, stage the house so people can see how the rooms are supposed to be used. Did you know that staging has been found to decrease the time a house is on the market by up to 90 days? So those were my best tips for selling your home fast. If you'd like to get more tips like these, head over to michelleshomestaging.com and sign up for my weekly newsletter. stop. All right, that is done. All right, so there's those little speaker pictures that you were looking for before, whoever mentioned that. Um, and you know, one thing I did forget to tell you is how I created the animation on here. Let me plug in my other monitor here so I can get that back again. And move my stuff over there. All right, so because I wanted a little extra animation here, I wanted things to come in one at a time. When I was ready for this to come in, I just went to animations, 
add animation and I decided I wanted it to fade in. And then this one, I just hit animation and I decided I wanted it to fade in. Okay, so that's the way this slide looks. All right, so now I have got all these slides with their little microphones showing that that they have audio on them and everything. And that's it for recording. There's nothing else I'm going to do. If I made a mistake, I'm just going to do the slide over again. I'm just going to click it. Okay, and I'm going to go back to slideshow, record slideshow, and I'm going to clear what's on that slide, just on this particular slide, and I'm going to re-record just that one slide. So you can go back and fix your mistakes. Now when I'm ready, I just go File, Export, Create a Video, and then I would hit Create Video. But I'm not going to do that because it's going to take, you know, about 10 minutes, but it may slow my computer down during the webinar, and I don't want my audio to start cutting out. So take it from me. That's all you do. You hit Create Video, and then, you know, as I showed you before, you have the complete video ready for you to upload to YouTube or, you know, wherever else you want to do. Uh, wherever else you would like to put it. Okay, so as you can see, probably from the time I wrote the script, this probably took me about 15 minutes to come up with what I wanted to say, and then um, another 20 minutes maybe to create the, the PowerPoints, and then, you know, five minutes to record it, if that. So within less than an hour, you've created a video for yourself or your client to use and they're going to go wow that is so cool and that looks great how did you do it and you're not going to tell them because that's why they're paying you the big bucks right <laughs> so let me yeah I mean, let me uh get you just a couple of these questions that came in and then i will show you how to learn more if you'd like hold on um well you know what a lot of questions are coming in right now all right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you real quick what I've got for you if you want to learn more, and then I'll come back and answer all your questions because I have to make sure that I get that part in. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Well, listen, I hope you've enjoyed this and you see how quick and easy it is actually to make videos in PowerPoint. And you can see that um, I make a full-time income doing that. Um, I had had this open to show you. These are some of the invoices I've sent and clients I've worked with in the last six months. Um, this is see the second half of the year, so I call it uh, invoices two. Um, everyone from um, the FDIC to my local um, School board here I do videos for, Genuine Parts Company, Habitat for Humanity, um, some local businesses. I do a lot for UPS, um, some smaller companies uh, called Ram, Realm VMware. So um, it is, it's definitely, there's a lot of work out there. Um, I get work from all over the world. But lately I've been trying to concentrate on just my Atlanta area because I really enjoy going into clients' offices and working with teams. So uh, you could probably do even better than me if, if, you, um, if you weren't trying so hard to, to stay local uh, because you can certainly work with clients anywhere and you guys know that. From uh, I also do recommend, I wanted to say this, I'm not saying you've got to specialize, but when I decided to specialize in video and specifically Camtasia and PowerPoint videos, that is actually where when my income started um, going way up. When I was just a Jill of all trades and doing everything for my clients, it was exhausting. I was experiencing a lot of burnout, a heavy learning curve all the time. When I decided to just do one thing and be really good at it, uh, instead of my income narrowing, you know, and going down, actually picking a niche, especially like this kind of a niche, is where really people think of you as the go-to person for that um, particular skill. All right, so this is what I've got for you. And and what I showed you is just a glimpse really of what you can create with PowerPoint 
of, with videos and I'd really like to be able to show you a lot more that you can do. So I do have a special offer for you tonight. Um, it's called the PowerPoint Video Mastery Series and the, uh, there's a discounted price um, that you can only get when you go through this particular link which is vajaw.com. I believe that's Tanya's regular link um, and I have a special coupon code for you so don't don't even think that the price on there is the price that you'll be paying so hold on I only we only discount it um, maybe three times a year and this is one of them so let me paste that in okay it redirects me to her page here okay so this is what it is it's a let me stop the video from going oh, and by the way this video you'll see here you're gonna love it has lots of animation we show you how to do this uh, if you want to do highly animated videos in PowerPoint so if you go down I'm going to show you exactly what you get um, in this course you get five uh, one to one and a half hour mo modules of PowerPoint instruction it, this I start teaching you here as if you're a beginner so no worries I know I went very quickly with it I, I started out I start out showing you exactly how to create a training course actually in there from beginning to end and so you see all the stuff you can do say if you're at level one and you've never done anything like that in PowerPoint before you'll still be able to come out with something even much nicer than what I shared with you tonight so don't worry if you've never even used PowerPoint. These two modules um, are for you. And I, I show you all the really, um, the, the basics, but also how to jazz it up. So if you only want to go that far, that's fine. You get about three hours of training. Then my business partner, Lon, jumps in with L module three, which is kicking it up a notch. So this is where we show you all the super cool stuff that you can do in PowerPoint and that is where, you know, once you've got the basics down and you want to make some really killer videos that people will never believe were done in PowerPoint, uh, this is where you'll, you'll start to watch here. So this is another three or four hours. Uh, these are about, I guess, one and a half hours each too as well. So these are some of the advanced things. We also have a private membership site where you can upload your videos. Lon and I will critique them for you and we will uh, let you know how to improve them and uh, we'll also invite you to um, some of our live demos that we do as well throughout the year. Uh, we have a few bonuses for you. Uh, one is the ultimate power Point video recording guide. I showed you one way of recording PowerPoint. There's two more depending on the way, the, the type of video you want. Another one hour webinar on how to use PowerPoint to do actual illustrations in there if you want to have some fun with uh, doing, creating your own stuff. And this one is great. If you're, if you started out like me and you didn't have any graphic design, I have learned a lot over the last few years of working with PowerPoint and I show you how to make your slides look really top notch uh, using just some basic um, graphic design principles. So, oh, and one more thing I forgot, we give you lots of templates you can use and lots of free images and lots of additional PowerPoint assets. So it's just really uh, a lot. Um, and no, we're not going to charge you $97, actually. Um, we have a deal going on just for Tanya's group, and we are charging only $47 for that. So it is uh, vajot.com PowerPoint videos, just like I shared with you. And you have to use the Tanya coupon code to get it for that price. So just a reminder, you know, you get the five modules of PowerPoint, you get the three additional webinars that are there, and this is, uh, these are pre-recorded. You can watch it anytime you want. There's no uh, limit on the access that you have. It's going to be up there for, you know, as long as we're alive. And then we have an additional nine PowerPoint templates and tutorials and a, a, a marketer's graphics pack, which is an additional 
thing that Lon added just this, uh, this the, the last few months. So these are worth about $419 when we sell them separately. But for Tanya's group, you can get everything for $47. Just don't forget the coupon code Tanya. So uh, Tanya, I don't know if you want to paste this into the the chat window if, if you don't know how uh, to do it, because I know you're not used to working with GoToWebinar. I will I will be happy to do that for you. One last thing before I get to all the questions, we have a 100% money back guarantee. So within 30 days, if you don't feel like you've gotten your money's worth out of it and you don't see that you can make a full-time living doing this, um, no questions asked. We will be happy to give you your money back. So now, with that said, I'm going to leave this up while I answer the questions that came in because there's a lot of really, really good ones in here. And I think uh, those of you that are interested in this will really benefit from hearing uh, what some of the other people are asking here. So the first one, uh, Tanya asks, how do you space the time between each slide? Um, it is done during the recording. I just hit the arrow. Um, there, when I started recording, see, when I go um, record slideshow, record from current slide, let's just say. Okay, that's animated. So, oh, you're not seeing it. Darn it, it's going up on the other monitor again, <laughs> just like it did last time. But when I click on an arrow here, that it advances the slides. I decide when I'm ready to move to the next slide. And it keeps those timings in it when it records uh, the video. Because here when I showed you file, export, create a video, see, um, if I had the other PowerPoint up that I was actually doing a tips video on, it would say use recorded timings and narrations because there were narrations and timings in there. So it does, it just picks that up. Um, let's see, did you have the last few lines timed? I timed it. I, When I was ready for the next animation to come in, I just hit, uh, I just clicked on it and the next animation came in when I was ready to say it. So I have total control over when things come in. Um, Emily asked if I add any background music. If so, how do you add a music file? Yes, I add background music all the time. Um, I can explain it to you, <laughs> but it would take a little bit of extra time, but, and we have so many questions to answer, but it's, it's done um, actually uh, here in the animations pane. Um, I actually add it in here, and we do go over it in the course. So you have to just find a, a piece of music. Oh, you know what? Hold on one second. I'm thinking of something else. I apologize. Um, I was just thinking of something completely else. It's in insert audio. See, insert audio there, and you can add it in. Okay, Melissa asks, oh, she asked the same question. Yes, you can add music. All right, Rosita says, can you add a short personal video of yourself at the end of the video? Yeah, you sure can. Uh, when you go to record, and once again, if I hit the recorder, it's going to come up on my other monitor, so I can't show it to you, but it, it, you can click a button and you share your webcam at any point. So you can have it all the way through, or you can have it on any slide that you want. Okay, Karen asks, she's worked in PowerPoint forever. I love the program. This has really opened up my eyes to what it can really do. Thanks so much. Oh, I'm so happy that you found some new use for it. Yay. All right, let's see. D'Amber asks, I have used PowerPoint before, but this brings a better perspective. This is so much value. Thank you. Great. Great. I'm, I'm really excited when I'm able to um, help people. Uh, learn more stuff. So great. Um, Karen says, um, how did you get the larger companies? Oh, um, this, I'll show you a, a couple of different ways. One way is LinkedIn, but I have this Camtasia Training Atlanta. This was when I was just doing Camtasia and I hadn't added PowerPoint in, but now, see, I told you I was trying to market more towards local people in the last year, so I threw this up. And so they can see my portfolio on here. And ta-da, they, you know, and they call me. So let's see, what else here? Um, let's see, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Um, 
Oh, you did a great job. Easy to listen and learn. Thank you, Rosita. I appreciate it. Um, what do your clients use the finished videos to accomplish? Training, advertising? Yeah, I mean, if you look at my portfolio, you'll see uh, tutorials, software demos. Um, let's see. This is a welcome video that that I did for our own one of our own sites, Lon and I. This is up here just to show how to do a website welcome video. Um, I forget even what this is. Uh, mark a lot of marketing videos. Um, this one is a big training course. Uh, this one, gosh, this one had like um, what 30 different mo bunch of modules and oh, it's missing a picture. All right, so all kinds of stuff. Oh, I'm glad I looked at this because it's sort of, of hosed up here. I have to get back to that. Okay, so anyways, let's see. What do your clients use? Oh, I did that one. How did you decide on your pricing? I looked at what other people were charging, and then I decided to charge less because I like to work a lot. Uh, there was a, a guy, well, there's a lot of um, people doing very animated videos, right? And they are charging like three and four thousand dollars for one video. And um, I felt like I wasn't doing as much animation as they were doing. I just have a kind of a lower level of knowing animation. So I based that. So instead of charging like $3,000 for a three minute video, I thought $500 was more reasonable. And it only takes me a few hours. So I, I also went by, you know, how long it took me. So I try to make $75 an hour. That's what I my bottom line is. If I'm if I time myself doing a video and I'm not making at least $75 an hour, then I underbid the project. So sometimes it's more, but I never want it to be less. Okay, can we Mary says can we do this anytime after purchasing it? Oh, uh, well the, by the way, the pricing is uh, actually only good through Tuesday. Um so I'm thinking maybe what you mean is can you start offering videos? Anytime after you purchase it, uh, yeah. I mean, as soon as you get PowerPoint and you watch it and you practice it and you think you got it down, I don't see why you couldn't start offering it, you know. Uh, Michelle says, oh, thank you, Michelle. <laughs> I appreciate the compliment. Um, thank you also. All right, uh, another question. Cindy wants to know, will an embedded video play if you record video? Yes, um, let's see here. All you do is go um, insert video, okay? You find a video and you put it in here and there's lots more you can do with it, you know? And of course I have to say, you'll learn all that in the course, but just to let you know that, yeah, you can do that and you can add it to any slide you want to. Uh, let's see. Thanks so much for the webinar. That's awesome. How would you prospect via LinkedIn? Yeah, well, I mean, you're welcome to copy what I've done. Um, let's see. LinkedIn. Um, let's see. If you go to LinkedIn. And I do get a fair number of uh, people, you know, finding me on LinkedIn. Let me see. So I have this LinkedIn site and see um, videos with Camtasia and PowerPoint. And then oh, I connect with everybody who wants to connect with me. Um, so notice like I came up in 33 searches so far this month. So 33 people already search for people that can do videos with Camtasia or PowerPoint and 102 people have already viewed my profile. So that's good. You know, if I get one person out of that, you know, I'm happy. All right, let's see. Where does Camtasia come in? Yeah, well, Camtasia. OK, let's say you finish a PowerPoint video and you've decided you want to add this thing called hot links where they can click on the screen and go right to your website. That would be something that I would do in Camtasia. Um, if I wanted to add a quiz to it, because it's a training course, once again, Camtasia. If I wanted to, um, oh, if I wanted to do a lot of editing, I mean, let's just say that I kept messing up on this slide over and over with my audio for some reason. Well, with Camtasia, you can go and you can do really fine editing, like I can remove a word from it 
for example. With PowerPoint, I have to redo the slide over. Not the whole thing, but that one slide. I have to re-record it, that slide, till I get it right. I can't just, you know, cut out one word. It's not that kind of a video editor. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, yeah, ta you know, uh, Camtasia does like a table of contents. They have that. They do closed captions. Um, you know, there's definitely some other things, although I can't remember right now. Um, I'm going to go for just a few more minutes here because uh, I know I don't want to keep people too long. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh, Mary, what, what she meant was, can we watch the videos anytime if we purchase it today? Yes. Oh, yes, you can watch them anytime. You can start watching them tonight if you want to. Carrie says, oh, and it lasts forever, as long as I live, as long as long lives, as long as you live. <laughs> I don't expect it to take down the site anytime. Okay, Carrie says, I'm making a book trailer for a client using PowerPoint. How would you add music to the slideshow? Really interested in the course. I'm glad. Um, well, Carrie, as I was mentioning earlier, it's just a matter of going insert audio from my PC and you have to have the music that you want. OK, but there's a little more to it, which um, I can't really get into all the specifics here. But you want to do things like where you have um, things like um, once I add the audio, then all of a sudden you have all these choices. OK, so once it's on there, you you will see all these choices come up here. And then you would choose like play across all slides and loop or things that um, so, you know, there's many different additional things you can do. Um, Let's see. Tanya says, thanks for the webinar. It was informative. I stayed away from PowerPoint because I really did not know how to use it, but I will start to use it more. Oh, thanks, Michelle and Tanya. She says, yay. OK, well, I'm I'm really glad because I was right there with you guys. I, I'm not kidding. I I'm not a really tech techy person and it was nerve-wracking for me to learn any new tool especially when people say the word video I always think okay video I would start to get nervous and I would think well that's just not something I want to get into I'm just going to stick to the stuff that seems you know easier and but then I realized that a lot of people feel that way that means there's way less of us doing it so it's easier to naturally it's easier to get work that way. All right. Um, let's see. Carrie would like to specialize in this. She says it's exciting. Awesome. There's plenty enough work to go around. And Lisa, this will be the last question I answer. Um, are there any of these options in the version you are using that are not available in 2010? OK, what I think, Lisa, it's been eight years since I've had a PowerPoint 2010, so I don't remember a lot of what's in it. But I do not believe you're going to get um, the I do not believe you're going to get, get the design ideas. I don't think so. It's not that you can't do beautiful slides like this. You can do all this yourself using shapes. It's not that, I mean, this is not like, the, I, it's, okay, let's put it this way. I could do this slide myself. I don't have to use the designer. I would just bring in my picture, put a border around it, you know, um, move it over here, resize it. But the designer just gives you inspiration. And it it makes it easier, in my opinion, to come up with a nice design. I think it's worth the six um, the six dollars and ninety nine cents a month to get that. And you can always, you know, stop using, stop paying if you don't, if you find that you're not really using it enough. Um, okay, Lisa says she got it. Oh, um, Michelle, you're still fuzzy on the connection to Camtasia do you build the PowerPoint yes okay let me just explain the what Michelle is wondering she she's wondering how I think how, the connection the actual connection between when you finish this video okay when you finish this video what you get is an mp4 it spits out a video which is an mp4 OK, now this video can be uploaded to YouTube as is. It can be uploaded to Vimeo. It can be uploaded to um, Amazon S3. Anything you want, you can do with this MP4. OK, but if you want to use Camtasia on it because you want to do more stuff 
and you and if you want to learn Camtasia I've got courses on that too so so just to show you real quick um, here we go all I do is import it in import media I find the um, the mp4 that I created in Camtasia right and there it is. And then now it's in, I mean, that I created in PowerPoint. I didn't mean to confuse you. Now I add it to the timeline of Camtasia. Look, now I've got that whole video in Camtasia. So if I want to do anything else to it, if I see in Camtasia, I can cut out a word. You know, if I want to cut out one word, add additional stuff, rotate, you know. So this is where your Camtasia comes in. It's completely optional, but for those of you who want to start using Camtasia, um, you know, they reduced the price down to $199 uh, from $299. It's a hell of a tool to to know, to be good at. You know, I, I really highly recommend it. Yes, you have till Tuesday to get the price of um, $47. <clears throat> Lisa, yes. Okay, this is really, really the last question. Um, is there a niche more popular than others? <laughs> yes, um, I, I get a lot of work doing um, software tutorials. Okay, software tutorials. Um, I find that, I would say that that's more prevalent. So, there. It's not as, I, I love it, it's not as beautiful as the other videos I do because it's software applications you're showing people how to use stuff but I really enjoy it and I really like it so all right with that said I want to go back to the last slide remind you guys how to get it that's vajot.com forward slash PowerPoint videos and Tanya I heard you laughing so I know you're back on because <laughs> I keep saying this is the last question <laughs> Did I'm just happy you stayed with us and shared all the information you did. It was so awesome. I know we've went overboard a little bit, but sometimes our videos do when we have some awesome speakers yet, like you today, Michelle. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> Thank and, you. I get excited. Michelle, <laughs> I know. And I just want to say to Michelle about the Camtasia, you know what? You don't need Camta Camtasia to produce videos. That's what this whole That's point is. That's the bottom is line is you do yeah. not need to learn it. It's It's extra... I sing if you want to add extra stuff in it, but I do tons of videos without ever opening up Camtasia. Exactly. And this way, you know, you can get a, a, a idea to see if you even like creating videos and stuff. And if you do, then maybe you'll be wanting to join her Learn Camtasia course down the road <laughs> I yeah I mean yeah people get confused because I, I they know me as the Camtasia person um, and sometimes I wish I hadn't like named the website of that Lon and I have learned Camtasia because they now everybody thinks we're all about Camtasia but ever since we discovered PowerPoint videos we're at least 50% just PowerPoint stuff so um, yeah so we don't all, we we don't always break open the Camtasia but all right well well thank you I'm I'm seeing that that a lot of people got a lot out of this and I'm so happy to hear that I will send you the replay um, tomorrow remember you have through Tuesday to buy it at that price I think you you'll get a huge return on investment I know that I have uh, been doing it for for uh, 10 years now and when uh, there's no way I'd do anything else so, all right, well, with that said, you have a wonderful evening, ladies and gentlemen, and hope to see you in the course. Bye, Tanya, Michelle, thank you. Yeah, I just wanna say thanks, Michelle, for the amazing hands-on webinar today using PowerPoint to create videos. I, I didn't even realize the power of PowerPoint until this webinar. Um, cool. Also, you know, thanks for all the little things, even if you don't take our program, sharing the resources like the Pexel and Unsplash to get your graphics. Um, you know, I didn't even know about those. I can only imagine the resources you share in your program. Uh, I just want to say, Michelle, you're an awesome trainer. Sorry for calling you Shone instead of Shane. I have no to problem. put Everyone that out there. Does. I, I do it every single time. But uh, okay. thanks again for sharing with us today. This is a really cool niche fun niche to be into guys I love 
um, creating video. I highly encourage you to do this if it's an interest to you because it's like you're not even working, right? Because you love doing it. Right. And um, yeah, become part of Michelle's tribe. And this is a great price for my network. Thank you so, so much for the $47 price. You're getting 50 bucks off, guys, until Tuesday. So check it out, vajot.com forward slash PPT videos and use the coupon code Tanya, T-A-W-N-Y-A. Thanks, Michelle. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye, everyone.